Before we get to the main course of this video, allow me a half minute or so for a quick appetizer. I had finally concluded the multi-hour process of creating this video and uploading it to YouTube, and as I was thinking about the title of this video, I... So instead of brainstorming for 45 minutes or delaying releasing this video, I just decided to go to Google Bard and Bing Chat to come up with a headline. Why didn't I use ChatGPT? I'll tell you at the end of the video. Okay, now start the video. Hey, can I ask you a simple question? Would you like to spend approximately 10 minutes listening to ChatGPT tell some jokes about some states and cities around the United States? You said yes. Well, let's get this show started. The states of Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana walk into a room. ChatGPT, continue the joke. Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana walk into a room. The bartender looks up and says, What is this, the Deep South Trifecta? <laughs> this joke plays on the fact that Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana are all states in the Deep South region of the United States, known for their shared history, culture, and traditions. The term trifecta is often used in horse racing to describe a winning combination of three horses, but in this case, it's used humorously to describe the presence of all three states in one place. Not what I immediately think when I think of the states of Mississippi, Alabama, or Louisiana, but, yeah, that joke was unexpected. Let's take the state's joke out west now. The states of California, Oregon, and Washington are walking in the park. Chat GPT. Take it from there. California, Oregon, and Washington are walking in the park. Suddenly, California stops and says, Hey guys, look at this. Oregon and Washington turn around to see what California is pointing at. Oh, that's just a tree, says Oregon. Yeah, we have those in Washington too, adds Washington. California looks disappointed and says, well, excuse me for trying to be a nature enthusiast. This joke plays on the stereotypes associated with each of these states. California is often associated with a love of nature and the outdoors, while Oregon and Washington are known for their vast forests and natural beauty. The punchline is a humorous way of poking fun at California's reputation for being a bit more over-the-top and enthusiastic than its neighbors. Maybe it's because I live in a state that has a more, let's just say, a not playful stereotype of the state of California. And for that fact, Oregon and Washington as well. This joke is, there's a lot worse that people will joke about these three states. Let's now ask ChatGPT to make a joke about the largest cities in the United States. Population-wise. New York City and Los Angeles are out on a date. ChatGPT, tell the joke. New York City and Los Angeles are out on a date. They're sitting at a fancy restaurant, sipping cocktails and chatting about their respective cities. Suddenly, New York City leans in and says, you know... I'm the city that never sleeps. Los Angeles chuckles and responds, that's cute. I'm the city that takes naps whenever it wants. This joke plays on the reputation of New York City as a fast-paced, always-on-the-go city, and Los Angeles as a more laid-back and relaxed place. The humor comes from the contrast between the two cities and the way they playfully rib each other about their differences. Honestly, for an AI model, that joke gets an LOL. Let's see what ChatGPT will say when I ask it to make a joke about the two largest cities in the most populous state in the United States, visiting the capital of said state. The cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco visit Sacramento. ChatGPT, take it from there. Los Angeles and San Francisco decide to take a road trip to Sacramento. They arrive at the state capitol building and start taking a tour. As they're walking through the halls, they overhear a heated argument coming from one of the offices. Curious, they peek inside and see a politician arguing with a lobbyist. 
Los Angeles turns to San Francisco and says, wow, politicians in Sacramento are really corrupt. San Francisco replies, I know, right? It's like they're always trying to sell out to the highest bidder. Just then, a janitor walks by and says, actually, that's the cleaning staff. They're arguing over who has to clean the toilets. This joke plays on the stereotypes of politicians and lobbyists being corrupt and willing to sell out for personal gain. The twist ending subverts these expectations and provides a humorous punchline by revealing that the argument was actually over cleaning duties. Well, that was something. Let's go out east to ask Chat GPT to tell a joke about the capital city of the sixth oldest state in the Union, visiting the state who has had the best college football program since 2008. The city of Boston visits the state of Alabama. Chat GPT, do your thing. Boston decides to take a trip down to Alabama to experience some southern hospitality. As soon as he arrives, he heads to a local diner and orders some sweet tea. The waitress asks him, would you like sugar with that, Han? Boston replies, no, thank you. I take my tea like I take my history. Unsweetened. <laughs> This joke plays on the stereotype that Boston is a city steeped in history, while Alabama is a southern state known for its sweet tea and southern hospitality. The punchline subverts these expectations by playing on the contrast between Boston's intellectualism and Alabama's laid-back southern charm. As I was reading that joke, I legit was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make the original comment on why I asked Chad GPT to tell a city of Boston and state of Alabama joke in the first place. Thumbs up Chad GPT. Let's go back west to ask Chad GPT to make a joke about the two largest and flagship cities of the second largest state population and influential wise and damn sure number one in their mind state in the union going on a date with each other. Houston and Dallas decide to go out on a date. They go to a fancy restaurant and order some Tex-Mex cuisine. As they're enjoying their meal, Dallas turns to Houston and says, You know, I'm the cultural capital of Texas. Houston replies, That's cute. I'm the space city. I put people on the moon. Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> Got he! This joke plays on the stereotypes of Houston being a hub for space exploration and technology, while Dallas is known for its arts and culture scene. The humor comes from the playful banter between the two cities and the way they jokingly one-up each other with their respective claims to fame. The entire size of the population of the state of Texas expectations. Guerra, Texas population sized results. And now for the final joke of this video, let's go to the two most popular cities you go to when you want to. You know. Do you think chat GPT? Las Vegas and Miami go to a club. Chat GPT, finish strong. Las Vegas and Miami decide to hit up a club together. As they're waiting in line, Las Vegas turns to Miami and says, you know, I'm the entertainment capital of the world. I've got all the glitz and glam. Miami replies, that's cute. I'm the party city. I've got all the heat and rhythm. Boo! This joke plays on the stereotypes of Las Vegas being a flashy and extravagant destination, while Miami is known for its vibrant nightlife and Latin music scene. The humor comes from the playful rivalry between the two cities and the way they jokingly one-up each other with their respective claims to fame. Not funny, but at least Chat GPT knows why Vegas and Miami are the go-to cities to go to win. You know. There will be a part two in the future. Check out JustTextClothing.com in general for some dope tees if I must say so myself. Plotweave merch coming soon. Okay. Enough of me right now. See you in the future. Since you're at this point of the video, then you know the question to the answer I'm about to give. 
I didn't use ChatGPT because it has limited knowledge after the year 2021, and Google Bard and Bing Chat I assume is current to 2023, or at the very least 2022. And as you know by watching this channel, ChatGPT is very hit or miss, or just blah. So to TLDR this, I believe Bard and Bing Chat would give me a better title. Let's see the results. ChatGPT tells jokes about cities and states in the United States. True but bland. The funniest jokes about cities and states in the United States, told by ChatGPT. If this video is any indication of ChatGPT's telling jokes ability, joke writers, you do not need to quit your day job. ChatGPT takes a hilarious look at cities and states in the United States. ChatGPT and I have different definitions on the word hilarious. ChatGPT's jokes about cities and states in the United States will have you laughing out loud. No, it won't. ChatGPT's guide to the funniest jokes about cities and states in the United States. This will be a future video on this channel. ChatGPT tells hilarious jokes about cities and states in the USA. Untruthful. ChatGPT's jokes about U.S. cities and states will leave you laughing. Mostly untrue, but sometimes true. ChatGPT's jokes about the USA are so funny, you'll need a tissue. Clickbait. So it's perfect for YouTube. But I'm trying to build up trust with you viewers, so no. ChatGPT's jokes about U.S. cities and states are the best you'll hear all year. If that's true, that's just sad. I don't want to put my reputation on the line for this title. ChatGPT's jokes about the USA will make you see the country in a whole new way. If that's true, you need to get out more. Also, this will also be a future video title on this channel. ChatGPT tells hilarious jokes about cities and states in the United States. Viewers won't click on that title. The funniest jokes about cities and states in the United States told by ChatGPT. Future parts on this topic will prove this to be untrue. ChatGPT's guide to the funniest jokes about cities and states in the United States. No. The ultimate guide to the funniest jokes about cities and states in the United States, told by ChatGPT. No, part two. ChatGPT's jokes about cities and states in the United States will make you laugh out loud. We have potential here. Let's now give Bing a chance. ChatGPT roasts every state in the U.S. with hilarious jokes. This video is not a roast and every state is not featured. Future video though. How to make fun of your hometown with ChatGPT. Loki, this is kinda good. But I want something better. ChatGPT versus U.S. cities, who's funnier? This feels like a title to a Jubilee video. The Ultimate Guide to U.S. Geography Humor by ChatGPT Feels too bland. ChatGPT tells the best and worst jokes about U.S. states. A title that's both truthful and untruthful at the same time. I'm not feeling the previous 20 video titles. Let me give ChatGPT a chance here. ChatGPT's hilarious roast of U.S. cities and states, you won't stop laughing. Ding 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 we have a winner. There's some clickbait and untruthfulness, but it just feels right. Okay, for the second time, goodbye and see you next time.